make a bootable install disk for Mac OS 9. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need, obviously, is your Mac OS 9 CD image. I get, I like to get them from WinWorldPC.com. Um, they have a lot of variety of which OS 9 installation disk you get. So as you can see here, they have a lot of options. Some gener a generic DVD one, which I mean, if you really want the generic one, you can use that. They have one for the PowerBook G4 and one for the Power Mac G4, one for the eMac G4, obviously, and another generic version of Mac OS 9.2.2. So in my case, since I'm using a Power Mac G4, I'm going to go ahead and download the version for the Power Mac G4. As you can see, I already have it downloading there. I'll resume the video when it's done. It's again. Okay, the Mac OS 9 install CD is downloaded, and you'll see that it downloads it as a .7z file, which is obviously a 7-zip file. I like to use Kekka on Macs as my file extractor, because it works, seems to work the best. Just go ahead and drag it onto it, and it will start extracting it for you. I'll resume the video when it's done. Okay, so now you can see that it has finished extracting and it's made a folder that says Apple Mac OS 9.2.2 Power Mac G4. And now you see there is an ISO file. Okay, now that you have that done, you are going to need to reboot in either OS 8 or OS 9 if it's already installed. Now, if you don't have a working Mac OS 8 or 9 computer, you can download a system folder for Mac OS 9 called Netboot 9. I will post a link to it in the description. So you can go ahead and download the OS 9 system folder from there. And all you need to do is simply drag the system folder that I will post as a download to your uh, hard drive. And then just go into System Preferences startup disk and your Mac OS 9 um, system folder will appear there you can just go and click on it and click restart which I will do now this is actually the, ins the installed version from the disk because I've already burned it and installed it and stuff so I'll go ahead and restart on that be right back or I'll just leave it on if you really want to watch it. There you can hear the boot chime. There's the power Mac right there. See, so I have the Apple Pro mouse. Sorry about the monitor. You can see it's booting into Mac OS 9.2.2 right now. I'll just go ahead and stop the video and I'll resume it once it's finished booting. Okay, so as you can see, it's almost done booting. It shows the time up there. Alright, it's booted. Okay, so what you're going to want now is you're going to need Toast Titanium 5. As you can see there, I have it in a folder on my desktop. Go ahead and open it. And I will post a link to this too in the description. Um, as you can see, this is actually a mounted image. It's not a folder. Um, you can just go ahead and open it. Okay, so once you're on the Toast main window, you're going to want to click on Other, and click on Mac Volume. Or no, first, 
go down here and click on disk image. Click on select. And browse to your ISO file with Mac OS 9. And I'll do that. Okay. And click on open. Now click mount. You'll see that it will open. You'll see that this is the Mac OS 9 install CD window. You can go ahead and close that. Now what you're going to want to do is click on other. Hold down on it. And click on Mac volume. Click on select. And click on the mounted um, Power Mac G4 or an OS 9 install CD. And go ahead and check on check bootable. Press OK. You'll see that it says optimize on the fly slash bootable. That's OK. That's what you want. Um, I don't actually have a CD burner, but if you do, just click on record and then click on create CD or write CD. Don't click on just write track because you obviously want to make the whole CD or write session. Click on write CD, not write session. Alright, and that's the, you can go ahead and eject both that and the image, and you can go ahead and insert your bootable CD that you just burned. As you can see, I have my bootable OS 9.2.2 CD here, as you can see the CD is pretty transparent. These are pretty thin CDs. Alright, well, actually don't insert it yet. Just go ahead and shut down the computer. Now, go ahead and hold uh, the Option key on your keyboard if you have a Mac keyboard. Or obviously the alt key if you have a PC keyboard like I do. Now, just gonna wanna go ahead and turn on the computer while holding down the alt or option key. You can hear the boot shine and obviously the loud hard drive. Okay, so you'll see here on your that you'll be brought up to this menu. Go ahead and open your CD drive. Insert your OS 9, your bootable OS 9 CD that you just made, and close the drive. Now on the screen, go ahead and click this refresh button here. And there you can see the OS 9 bootable CD. As you can see, it has a little finder icon. That means it's an OS 9 bootable disk. If it were to have like the OS 10 logo, then it would mean it was an OS 10 bootable disk. Let's go ahead and click on it and click the arrow here. You'll see you get a happy Mac. And the CD-ROM drive is doing stuff. You can see the lights orange, that means it's working, and you can obviously hear it. As you can see, OS 9.2.2 is booting. As you can see here, you have the CD wallpaper. See the extensions are starting to load.
and it'll switch resolutions to a rather low resolution. Okay, so now you can see it has loaded um, the operating system off the CD. You can go ahead and open the OS 9 install CD and go ahead and click on Mac OS install. And from here you can just follow the process to install OS 9 on your hard drive. And that's how to install Mac OS and make a bootable or make a bootable CD of Mac OS 9.2.2 and install it on a computer. Hope you enjoy this video.